Good morning. It is day four and it is colder than ever. And it's just gonna get colder. Yeah, it's hard to believe. We've been meeting a lot of people in the guest houses that have already been to base camp and the horror stories are a little scary, but I'm still excited. They can't scare me away. But we are starting to get phlegm. Next comes the cough apparently. I don't have that yet, but apparently it's coming. We just covered our faces with sunscreen and lotion because the people who have come back look pretty gnarly and blistery. <laughs> yeah, totally windburn noses and yeah. foreheads <clears throat> and cheeks. <laughs> Not gonna be us. The day four itinerary is trek to Tangboche, overnight at guest house. The day begins with a slight climb up to about 10 minutes and descends back to the Dude Koshi at 3,550 meters before ascending to the Teng Boche at 3,870 meters. The views of Everest, Amadablam, and the valley are mind-blowing. So we're gonna go downstairs, get some grub. We're heading out at 7.30, and we actually could see the city that we were going to in the distance yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as the crow flies, not too far, but it's gonna be a six-hour hike. I think it'll be a peaceful day. Not. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit up and down, but nothing like the last few days. Good morning. <laughs> On the road again. And I'm already frozen. <laughs> it's gnarly cold today. <laughs> I am gonna miss this view. Oh man. Way down there is the highest bridge that we came across. And then way over there is where we came from. The steep hill that we climbed on day two is just crazy. There it is. Oh my gosh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> no big deal. I like it through here. It's nice and easy. It does not matter how cold it is in the morning. After five minutes of walking, Taylor and I are naked. <laughs> it is crazy how fast it changes. It's like it goes from frostbite to sweating. It's insane. <laughs> Our first hairy ones. These are the real yaks. Oh, I love them. this trail we go back down to the river there's a little town near the river where we'll have lunch and after lunch it is straight up again to our guest house for the night <laughs> so we are here lunch is down there and then sleeping is switchbacks all the way up to there it's gonna be a more interesting day than we thought and then at the top of Mount Everest, the peak to the left, that cloud is not a cloud, that is blowing snow. So that goes to show just how windy it is up there. The vultures down here are going crazy over something. We made it to lunch and it's only 10.01. Evergreen Lodge and Restaurant. Hey, welcome is spelled, oh, not correctly again. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing that you quickly come to learn is that all of the menus, no matter where you go, are exactly the same. So it actually gives you a lot of time because you can think about all day what it is you're gonna get at lunch because you already know what's coming. Potatoes, noodles, spaghetti, sandwiches, eggs, soup, rice, and breakfast. What are you doing? Dalbot. Nice choice. <laughs> Going local. Dalbot veg, please. And can I do the vegetable egg fried rice, please? Day four, and between the two of us, this is the fourth time we have ordered this. 
Um, this is dalba, and it is like the staple dish of Nepal. It comes with a lentil soup, some curry vegetables, rice, and dal. It's delicious. Thank you. <laughs> this is what all guides and porters eat for lunch and dinner every single day. All right, Tay. <laughs> is this the first real one? This is your first real one. I've been in one of these already. Okay. All right. Okay. You really gotta aim well for being a girl. <laughs> you need a, a she-wee, whatever the hell those are called. A she-pee. She-pee. Oh. I do need a she-pee. Good luck. Oh, I'm gonna miss. Okay. I almost would just prefer going behind a rock. Someone does not have good aim. Me. Okay. Oh yeah, that's me. And there's the little dirt that you just brush into there. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't smell good. Yeah, no photo or video can explain what we're looking at. No, it's unbelievable. Like, it's actually kind of sad because I think this might be the coolest thing that I'll ever do in my life. I know, it only you goes know? downhill from here. Like, wow. But I'm also like, I could never do this at any other age. I'm already sucking wind the whole time. It'd be so difficult. I think you're doing good. Thanks. Avalanche, avalanche. Oh. That was so loud. I thought there was an earthquake. Me too. Me too. No way. It's still going. It's still going. That was my dream. I wanted to see one. To see. With no people involved. <laughs> that was a strange bucket list item, but it definitely was one. <laughs> and that was everything I hoped it would be. That was so I cool. can't believe we just saw that. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, first time trying the water from the mountain. <laughs> I'm excited. The chlorine tablets that we bought, it's like one pill it works for five liters of water. So we have to carefully break them all. <laughs> They're so teeny. They're so hard to break. Yeah, they are. And I don't have a fingernail. Kind of cut it into pieces. But that should work. Cross your fingers, we don't have yeah. diarrhea in the morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome to Trekker's Lodge, 3,880 meters. Hello Kitty. Oh, it is Hello Kitty. <laughs> oh, wow. This one's tight. Okay. Day four's a wrap, and it's like 1 p.m. <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy. You really only hike maybe five to six hours each day, 
with the exception of the days that you return. But today was five hours, 15 minutes, and that includes a decent lunch break. We were kind of booking it, but I had this like newfound energy source. I don't know where it came from. Braden called me a chatterbox. I don't know. I was feeling good. It's very talkative. <laughs> I don't know if he was just trying to flatter me or if he meant it, but he said that I'm his fastest client. Yeah, he kept just saying he is so fast and I was like, he's like this at home. We go hiking or running and I'm always back here alone. <laughs> now we're up here and this small town at the top of the mountain has a view of Mount Everest from our bedroom. <laughs> I could get used to this. As you go up, the accommodations start to change. Yes. The bathrooms start to change. But tonight, it's okay. We have our Hello Kitty blankets. We also are going to have a smaller dining room where we've been hanging out and making friends each night. They say that it's a little narrower, which actually keeps it warmer, so you can sit around the fire at night. And they throw on that yak dung <laughs> to keep the fire burning. Yep, so once you get to the elevation where wood is no longer a resource, they start to use yak poop to heat the fires. And really the nicest part of the day is to go down into the guest house dining room. We have met so many friends in just four days, and yeah. I know we have a million more friends to make for the next seven. It's so fun. Thank you.